not. <laughs> I hate you. I'm keeping him from hockey, so we'll just keep it quick. <laughs> We're going to this cool rotating sushi bar. Am I going to see a movie? He usually wears like shirts, but he got his, <laughs> he got his sleeve like what is it? Retouched. He got his sleeve. I got like, tattooed yesterday. He got tattooed, and so he can't wear like a shirt. So I look nice, and he looks homeless. It's a tank top. It's like 140 <laughs> out right now. Anyways, this is his excuse. This is my excuse. You're lucky I'm wearing clothes. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. 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 See you at dinner. This is the Urban Decay Complexion Prep Spray. Then using the Sonia Kashuk Perfecting Brightening Primer and applying Stilla Illuminating Liquid Foundation with my Real Technique Stippling Brush. Then taking a damp beauty blender to blend it all out. Spreading Max Paint Pot in the color Painterly all over my lids. Then using CoverGirl Shadow Pencil in Flamed Out, I'm putting that all over my lids to really lighten them up. And taking the Color Day from my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette on a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, I'm using that and spreading it all over my lid. brush and the color Embark also by MAC. I'm using that and working that into the crease, kind of creating a cat eye. Then taking the color Urban from my Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm using a Precision Powder Shadow Brush from Sephora and I'm working that onto the previous color we put which was Embark by MAC. We're going to use a MAC 217 brush to blend that color up. Then taking the color Floof by MAC on a base shadow brush by Real Techniques, we're just going to add a little bit of a highlight and then blend that with the MAC 217 brush. Curling my lashes. Then taking my favorite liquid liner, which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and lining the upper lash line. Add a coat of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black, one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Moving on to brows, I'm using the MAC 263 brush and Fluid Line by MAC in the color Dip Down. I ran out of my Anastasia Beverly His Brow Wiz pencil, but I am using her medium brown brow powder duo to fill them in, also with the MAC 263 brush. Taking the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. I had a hard time getting it out, but once I did, I just made little triangles under my eyes, highlighted the bridge of my nose and my chin. I absolutely love this. I blended it with a damp beauty blender, and it really created a flawless finish for my skin. Taking my NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in Caramel, it's a lot darker than my skin tone. I use it to contour. So I go underneath my cheekbones, on my temples, and also on the sides of the bridge of my nose. And then I blend that out with my stippling brush, the same one I use to apply my foundation. 
blend upwards to keep that cheekbone contour nice and straight. I also work that color on my jawline. Then I blend out my nose contour with my Sonia Kashuk number 108 brush. Using that same beauty blender to blend. Taking my Real Techniques setting brush and the NYX blotting powder, I just set all of that concealer. Then taking my Essence of Beauty blush brush, I'm just putting on the color Desire by NARS. This packs a lot of color, so you just need a little bit. Then I put my lash glue on my Ardell Wispies, and using tweezers, I apply these starting from the center and then pushing in the corners, and then pinching tight. Same for the other eye. Then blend those in with another coat of mascara and pinch again just to make sure they're secure. And then put mascara on the bottom lash line. Taking that color Urban again on a MAC 242 brush, just line the lower lash line. on a nude lipstick. This is NYX in Sugar Wafer. Spraying my hair with Moroccan oil heat protectant. Don't inhale it. Brushing my hair out. Plugging in my straightener and straightening my bangs and the ends of my hair. Sorry this is out of focus. All done with that. I will list out the details below and I am ready for my date.